When I was president, I worked hard to give you more peace and shared prosperity, to give you an America where nobody is invisible or counted out. But for this time, Hillary is uniquely qualified to seize the opportunities and reduce the risk we face. And she is still the best darn change maker I have ever known. Back in the spotlight, last night, former President Bill Clinton gave Democratic delegates in Philadelphia a speech reminding many how he ended up as president in the first place. Later today, Democrats will return to the Wells Fargo Arena to kick off day three of their week-long convention. News 2's national correspondent Mark Meredith is in Philly for us this morning. Mark, we're expecting to hear from another set of high-profile speakers tonight. Brad and Octavia, good morning to you. That's right, we're going to be hearing from perhaps the biggest names in Democratic politics, at least so far. We're talking about President Obama and Vice President Biden, both men giving a speech in prime time tonight. They'll be taking the stage here in Philadelphia. Vice President Biden, he's already in town. President Obama will be landing here a little bit later on today. But it was the man who was also a president, the person you just played a clip from, Bill Clinton, who gave such a personal plea in prime time last night, trying to tell the American people why he believes that Hillary Clinton would be the best person to uh, succeed President Obama. We're going to be watching very closely, though, what after what happened last night. It was after Clinton, before Clinton's speech, I should say, that we saw that contentious roll call vote between Bernie Sanders supporters and those who have been supporting Clinton. This was a very tough primary and caucus battle that happened coast to coast, including obviously there in the low country. And it was interesting, though, whether or not this legacy that will be taking the next four to eight years, what delegates want to hear from? Do they want a continuation of what we've seen from President Obama or do they want to go into a different direction? I had a chance to speak to delegates about just that. And we'll hear from them just how qualified Hillary is to be our next president. They, they would know uh, better than anyone having worked with her so closely. I think it'll be important for them to talk about how they're going to pass the torch to uh, Secretary Clinton and uh, you know how she's going to be the, the best successor to their legacy. And I think they're going to be able to do that quite well. If you needed another reason to tune in, you can also hear tonight from the man who will be, uh, who's been tapped, I should say, to be Hillary Clinton's running mate, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine, giving potentially the uh, biggest and most important speech of his political life. He'll be uh, making his way here to the arena to do some dress rehearsals later today, and then we expect to get a better idea of what he'll be bringing to the ticket heading forward to November. Brad, Octavia? Mark, some people were thinking doom and gloom as this whole thing started with the controversy uh, as far as those emails were concerned. Having uh, Bernie Sanders give that uh, roll call, bring it to an end, basically. You were in the arena last night when this happened. Does it feel a little more united, the party as a whole, than it did 24 hours ago? It's interesting you mentioned that because you're right, Bernie Sanders was here. He tried to sell Hillary Clinton as best as he could to the people here in the arena and those watching at home, but it didn't necessarily stick. We saw a protest as people filed out of the Wells Fargo Arena almost immediately after uh, Clinton became the official nominee, and they went to where the worldwide media is set up. I mean, you've got cameras from all over the country and across the globe, and they wanted to make it very clear they are unhappy with what they view as an undemocratic process. And whether or not that continues, whether we will see the same event today, unlikely. Maybe tomorrow night when Hillary Clinton is here to give her speech in prime time, there could be that possibility that they make some sort of a well-known gesture. But right now, uh, Brad, it hasn't been as contentious this morning, but uh, all bets are off at this point. Yes or no? Is it possible that Donald Trump wins the presidency? Anything is possible. Uh, it is uh, the, the nature of democracy that until those votes are cast and the American people um, you know, have their say, uh, we don't know. Are you worried? Uh, you know, as somebody who has now been in elected office uh, at various levels uh, for about 20 years, uh, I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff happen. And I think anybody who uh, goes into campaigns not running scared can end up losing. President